for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an offensive tips video for you guys today, a passing tips video. Today, I'm going to be going over specific routes that are guaranteed to beat specific defense. So at any point in time, if you know what your opponent is running on defense, whether you know how to read a defense or whether you can see the last play that they run or they're running the same defense over and over, these are going to be specific routes you can find either in your audibles or you can find in the majority of playbooks and plays in the game that you can go to that will always have success against those defenses. Now, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Now, before I get into this play, I just want to let you guys know that if you don't know how to read defenses, I have a video on how to read and beat every defense that I did put out earlier in the year. If you guys want to check that out, we'll have a link in the description for you guys. If you want to click on that link, you can see how to read defenses that make this a little bit easier to run these type of plays. Now, we're going to start off with cover two zone and work our way back. Now, one particular route that is very good against cover two is the route that we're seeing right here on both sides of the bill sticks. Let's go and let's pick that. On the offensive side, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to match with uh, 245 Tampa 2. Now, the route that I'm going to highlight against cover 2 here is a fade route. Both receivers on the outside are running these fade routes. You typically need a lot of throwing space to the outside for this to work, but ultimately these fades will get around the zone chuck cornerbacks and basically make very large plays without really any adjustments. Now, I also want to point out that at any point in time, you have the option in your hot routes to put this receiver on a fade. You have the option to put him on a streak, which is essentially the same route only it tries to run through the cornerback and typically a zone chuck or you have the option to put him on a fade which will basically you know just has a different release and that release will go around the cornerback i'll show you guys what happens if i put him on just a regular streak you'll see that he gets zone chucked and he gets pushed inside towards the safety and essentially it's going to get you know it be an incomplete pass now the only thing you'll have to do to basically make this play work is you'll need a receiver to pull the safety inside because otherwise the safety can make a play on this but based off the route that that the receiver is running you'll see that now he'll get around that zone chuck he'll get around that cornerback and he'll basically be able to make a play outside over the top uh basically you know where the safety and the cornerback aren't covering next up we're going to go over cover three and we're going to use the exact same play so let's go right back to the bill stick on the defensive side we're just going to go with cover three sky although ultimately cover three match is going to be about the same typically against cover three zones they are weak underneath because the cornerbacks shoot back pro snap making it very easy to complete passes to what the running back is running the running back is running something that's called essentially a table route it's not going to be a huge play but if you have a fast running back a lot of times you can basically just check it down underneath to a running back like this you can see has a lot of space uh, for you know an easy catch and run which is something that can be found in a lot of different plays another good option and something that you have in your audibles is going to be what i can do with the b route the b route here i can do a number of things some other good routes that'll be in your audibles will be routes like a smoke screen where essentially all I have to do is hit the right trigger and now you'll see it's basically the same thing where I have an underneath route where I can basically just get this ball out quick and get a nice catch and run because the cornerbacks are dropping back so these are two routes that you can use to get very good short yardage plays against cover three and it'll essentially change what your opponent is doing or at least force them to try to rethink their strategy because you can do that over and over and steal yards all game another good route would be a simple out route now it used to be that you could put them on a 10 yard out route and that would have success i think madden zones have done better to cover these as you can see right there still had a lot of success if i'm running it to the open side of the field like i am i have a lot of success regardless but a better route would be just a regular five yard out route as you can see he has even more space and then i can still catch and run but out routes in general against cover three and cover four are very good options because the cornerbacks play back so now i'm in a cover four just to show you guys it'll have the exact same success the b route will get open uh as you can see he just kind of he's not really running a great route it's kind of rounding that off but you can see he's getting wide open that's something you can steal all game uh you can do the same thing with the uh the smoke route with the running back in the flat um you can have success there you can see that guy does get out a little bit quicker you definitely want a faster receiver than who i'm using i'm not using a very athletic receiver at all but i'm just trying to show you guys that uh, i mean the running back's not very athletic either but i just want to show you guys that this is a very consistent uh way to gain yards against cover three and cover four where the cornerbacks play back so we're going to pick that exact same play this time we're going to focus on man beaters 
here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pick random man. But when I say man, that also includes defenses like cover four quarters or really any matching defense because ultimately they react very similar to man. So keep that in mind. This is really gonna be something that you can use against any type of man defense and cover four quarters. So like I said, we're gonna go to play type. We're just gonna go random man coverage. Now I'm in the exact same play, but none of these routes are really gonna have success the same way that they did against zone coverage. The table route, the streaks, all those things aren't really gonna have success. Ultimately, I'm in the same play because I want to show you guys just how many uh, audibles, just how many hot routes you can make and have success against man coverage. Because to me, this is probably the easiest way to beat man coverage is there's probably half of the hot routes you're looking at here are easy man coverage beaters. Typically, any route that makes a break or more than one break are gonna be very successful. So routes like the in route, the out route, the curl route, the zig route, the slant, the drag. Typically, every hot route adjustment that you can make aside from the streak and fade will have success against man coverage. So it's really up to me. My personal favorite is going to be the zig, but you know, the in route, the out route, I'll just show you guys these routes real quick. Uh, the slant route, uh, the drag route, all these routes are gonna have success. But to me, the best one without a doubt, the one that I go to the most is the zig route. Now the zig route starts off looking like it's going to be a drag. The first initial step the receiver takes inside, the cornerback typically bites. A lot of times the user will bite thinking that a drag is coming because a lot of people like to run drags against man coverage. Typically anything that goes over the middle is good and all, like the in route, the, the slant, the, the drag, those are all good good options, but you're going in the direction where the user is. So I typically try to stay away from that direction. I think the zigger out is probably one of the best ones you can choose. All you have to really do is wait for that cornerback to bite, wait till it gets outside, and you typically have a very successful catch and run. If anybody runs man against me, if you watch my gameplays, you see that I run the zig route over and over and over. It's something that can easily force your opponent out of man coverages based on the fact that you can steal 10 yards of pop every single time. And if they start to use that, you can easily just go back over the middle. You just have to watch where your user is. If your user starts using the outside, then you go with slam then you go with drags, then you go with in routes. All these things have success against man coverage as well. But like I said, to me, the zig route's the best because there's the least amount of resistance if you're running routes to the outside. And if you're running like this right here, if say you get a cover one, which that kind of is what that was, and I don't even have a speed advantage. You can see the cover one uh, safety or the, the cover one uh, yellow zone forced me to hold that ball longer than I wanted to. Where if I do that outside with a zig, once again, there's really nothing out here to keep me from throwing this ball whenever I want to. Uh, the only real thing is, you know, the sideline becomes more of an issue. Now there are a few additional routes on the outside like the comeback route uh, that you don't really have the option when it comes to on the inside uh, where essentially that will also be a very good man beater if you can throw it on timing. Uh, ultimately this is something where you'll see the, the cornerback will turn around and then you can come back to the ball and have a lot of success against man. Against man the comeback route is best against zone coverage if you have like a cover three or cover four once again the out route is typically best. So keep that in mind the out route if I try to run this I mean, if you have a really big advantage, you can sometimes have success, but the way that he's running this out route, he's not even really running it properly. Typically, if you run an out route where you can throw it uh, in the break, say, like if I wanted to run from the tight end here, if he actually runs a crisp route where he doesn't round it off, you can see how I can have success with that out route. But ultimately, to the sideline, if he's not running the route properly, like the receiver's not running the route properly, it won't work. So those are some more options that you can run from different positions. But ultimately, um, you know, there's so many routes that beat man coverage. That's probably one of the easier defenses to beat. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.